This was a guy that I think needed to take some serious time, learn the NFL game, learn under an, uh, a veteran quarterback, perhaps like a Kyle Orton or some, uh, someone, and be a three- to four-year project, and then unleash the polished product. Now, it's, now, the, now the theory is, don't wait for him to be polished before you put him in. Throw him to the Lions, and uh, hopefully he polishes himself within the game speed. And we've seen this time and time again with quarterbacks like... Uh, Tim Couch and David Carr, who were just thrown to the wolves their rookie year, and they ended up they they had the world they had the uh, world of talent, but they never learned the NFL game the way they should have because they were getting constantly beat up and picked off, and they didn't get to learn the game and study the game like they should have. And I have a feeling the same thing's going to happen with uh, with Tim Tebow here. Well, you're absolutely right, John, because you don't draft a quarterback number one to have him sit on the bench. Yeah, well, not anymore. Not anymore. I mean, you do it the fourth round, fifth round, maybe sixth round, something like that. But no, they, they you know they set him up. I mean to play. But he, my point is this though: who's in your scouting department? Who's looking at this? Who's evaluating talent? Yeah. I mean, there's got to be guys there to say, "Hey, hold it, wait a minute." I know they changed his release and his and his throwing. He really worked on it, trying to change it and get it better. I don't see it. You know, I really don't see it. But again, too, like I said, they in their, their mind right now said, "Well, let's give it a shot. Let's put him out there." John Elway's there. He should know better. You would think so. A, a, a guy of John Elway's caliber can say, this kid's not ready. But, as you said, I think business trumps all. Oh, it does. Get I mean, this guy no, out there. I mean, I, that, that, that's, that's just what you see. And not only business trumps all, the fact that fans trump all. Yeah. You're not in it. If you're not doing well and the fans are screaming for somebody, you're going to find a way to get the guy in the game. Yeah. Because that's it, exactly what they're doing it right only now. Comes down now we'll to see it. what he does. Like I said, I'd be really, I'd be shocked. I'd be uh, totally shocked. I mean, he's going to go out there. He's going to make some plays. There's no question yeah. about that. You know, and the kid is tough, and he's good, and he runs, and he's strong, and he's. But is he a quarterback? I, I don't. I, no, I don't think so. 